Barakaza Mungu Baba Niza Niza Jabu Barakaza Mungu Baba Niza Niza Jabu Zaiza Kweda Chu Kweda Chini Kweda Bele Kweda Nyuma Upande Upande Kwa Mata Ifa Upande and praise God children we thank God for yet another day as we learn his words I'm teacher Hannah from St. John's Muemuto we are glad to have you this morning so let us pray as we begin today's lesson we thank you God for yet another day that you have given unto us we pray God that you may open our minds as we recess today's lessons bless the children bless our parents bless everybody in jesus name we pray believing and trusting amen so children today we are running about friendship and i know you all have friends so let us uh, listen to the bible reading for today from teacher judy welcome our reading for today comes from the book of first samuel chapter number 20 verses 1 to eight and I read then David fled from Noath at Ramah and went to Jonathan and asked what have I done what is my crime how have I wronged your father he's trying to kill me never Jonathan replied you're not going to die look my father doesn't do anything great or small without letting me know why should he hide this from me is it Esau but David took an oath and said, Your father knows very well that I have found favor in your eyes. And he has said to himself, Jonathan must know his or he will be grieved. Yet as surely as the Lord lives and as you live, there is only a step between me and death. Jonathan said to David, Whatever you want to do, I'll do for you. So David said, Look, tomorrow... Tomorrow is the new moon feast, and I'm supposed to dine with the king. But let me go in the but let me go and hide in the field until the evening of the day of the day afternoon tomorrow. If your father misses me at all, tell him. David earnestly asked for my permission to hurry to Bethlehem, his hometown, because an annual sacrifice is being made there for, for the whole clan. If he says very well, then your servant is safe. But if he loses his temper, you can be sure that he's determined to harm me. As for you, show kindness to your servant, for you have brought him a covenant with you before the Lord. If I am guilty, then kill me yourself. Why hang me to your father? And that's the reading for today and the gospel continues. Thank you, thank you, thank you, teacher Anne and teacher Judy, um, teacher Newton. Today, children, we are learning about friendship and we are going to look at uh, the friendship uh, between Jonathan and David. Jonathan was a son of King Saul and uh, as we read last time, he was a great friend of David because David uh, had been accepted uh, by Jonathan in their house and they became great friends but one time they got to a, to a point where king the king was not happy with david and they wanted to kill david so david knew about it and they ran away from their home and then he met with jonathan and he asked jonathan jonathan you are done want to kill me and you are just quiet about it but Jonathan was so afraid and was so, so shocked. He said, no, my dad cannot kill you. With, he cannot do anything without telling me. David said, 
No, he want to kill you. And because he knows you are my friend, he will, ne- he will not let me know. So Jonathan and David agreed. Uh, Jonathan will go back to the Paris and find out if it's true the king wanted to kill David. So they agreed. David was not go back that evening. He was supposed to share the dinner with the king. But they said, I will not come for the dinner. If the king will be upset about it, then you will know that he wants to kill me. If you will be okay about it, then you will know that he doesn't want to kill me. So they agreed. I will go to my home. You go and tell the king, I went to the festival with my family and I'm not able to come for the dinner. So they went and they, 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 they left. And Jonathan, in the evening, they sat for dinner, and King looked at David's seat, there was no one. And he asked, where is David? And then Jonathan said, uh, Dad, David, uh, they had a vest- festival at their home, he was not able to... And then Jonathan, uh, and then King was so annoyed with Jonathan, he looked at him. He asked him, you young boy, don't you know David is going to take, to take the, the, the leadership? He's going to come the, to be the king instead of you? And he said, no, Dan, you know. And the Dan was so upset. He took a spear. He wanted to kill Jonathan. He threw a spear to Jonathan. And he missed him. And Jonathan ran away. So Jonathan went to the field to meet David. They had agreed. I'll give you a sign to show you if the king is okay with you or if the king is not okay with you. So he took an arrow and he threw an arrow beyond where David was. And he threw another one and he told his his assistant, go past and pick the arrows. And David knew there was a problem because he had agreed, if there is no problem, just threw the arrows just in front of me. And David ran away and disappeared completely. So he was not to be seen by the king. David was so good. Jonathan was so good to David. He did not agree with the father. Despite the fact that the father was a king, and the father was jealous because David was becoming famous and famous. Jonathan was so good and he was ready to defend his friend David at all costs. Praise God. Our memory verse for today will come from the book of Proverbs, chapter number 17, verse number 17a. The book of Proverbs, chapter number 17, verse 17a. It says, A friend loves at all times. Again, we say together, A friend loves at all times. We repeat again, children, A friend loves at all times. A royal friend will always be there for this friend. When you are when you are in trouble, when, some, when people are planning to do bad things about you, a royal friend will come and inform you. A royal friend will tell you, don't do this because people are planning to do to, to, to harm you. So always be a royal friend so that you can also have royal friends. So children. We should be loyal to our friends. Till we meet again, stay safe. God bless you. That your joy may be full.